This is Dream Omni 2 and this is a image editing model from ByteDance. It's pretty interesting, but I'm gonna show later why this is different from the Quent Image Edit and Nano Banana. Well, first, let's see some examples. You can do object replacement. So as you can see, you can put the dog here and it looks really good. You get this image and put this girl into the image. This guy with this jacket and there it is. This anime girl in this freezer. <laughs> in this position, there it is. It can also replace the lighting. This cat in this lighting becomes this. This tiger in this lighting becomes this. It can also do style transfer. This chicken in this style becomes this. <laughs> the seagulls in this style becomes this. It can also do pose imitation. This girl in this position becomes this. So you can see this position actually looks like an in-between between this and this. It can also transfer face expressions. It can also do hairstyles, font imitation. Okay, you got the idea. But we have right now the Quint Image Edit and the Nano Banana. Why this is different? So this is from ByteDance and different from Nano Banana, this is open source, right? But we have Quint Image Edit. Why this is different from Quint Image Edit? You can see here the model, it's only a little bit over 16 gigabytes and this is the full version. This could fit on a 24 gigabytes VRAM card, but with some CPU offloading could probably be run by a 16 gigabytes card or even less. However, this is the full version. When they release the FP8 or the DGUF, this could be run with an even smaller card. The FP8 would be half as this, so you should probably be able to run on a 10 gigabytes card and the DGUF probably can go down as low as six gigabytes VRAM card. So yes, this is an image editing model, but much lighter than the Quint Image Edit. This is what I was hoping for because the Quint Image Edit is way too heavy for most people and this could solve the problem. Now to run this, you have two options. You can run this locally. Uh, for that, you go to the GitHub page here and follow the instructions and then you will be able to run that. But I'm gonna show this when we have a Confi UI workflow for this, okay? For now, you can go here into the Hugging Face demo and try things. Now let's see a good example here. Let's do the cat because I liked this one. So you can see, pretty good. So I think that's it for now. And uh, ByteDance finally going for the poor GPU guy. <laughs> okay, let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe.